Rated R Cars pro tip, don't ever drop your contact lens in your sink and then fail to rinse it off before you put it back in your eye unless you wanna look like this. No! This makes pink eye look like a walk in the park. <laughs> Greetings Rated R Cars family. I've been working on an epic GT350 video with a guest star of Earl, but my car keeps throwing a hissy fit so I have to make this video first. For any one of you guys with a GT350 or a Mustang GT experiencing any of these issues, let's have a dialogue below. Let's get started, shall we? Having a GT350 is not only fun, but when I take my client to lunch, I can be proud to take them in my car. That is when my door actually opens and I'm not fumbling for my key fob like Brett Favre trying to catch a greased hot potato. So when I put my fingers on that, it should lock test to see if this works that works see if it'll unlock not working embarrassed much yeah this is a gt350 not a gt3 dollar 50. <coughs> there's nothing cooler than rolling up next to a hottie in this car except for when your brakes squeak like they contain all of the birds in the 12 days of christmas simultaneously screeching Three French hands, shut the hawk up! There's nothing quite like rocking sport mode in a GT350. When it works. All right, getting a little bit of weird stuff here. Not in reverse. Drive mode. Drive mode selection not available. Weird. It's really a crapshoot with this car. It's hit or miss. There's nothing quite like rolling down the highway in your expensive GT350 except for when everybody's flashing you from behind because your busted ass ghetto ride doesn't have working tail lights. All right guys, so I was getting flashed behind me so I thought something was fishy going on and I just got home and pulled into my garage and voila, I've got no tail lights. And the door's not working again. A little bit discouraged here, but um, you know, this, this Here's sort of a dangerous situation. Um, at least I have the light on the license plate. But yeah, I kind of get a little bit tired of all these little odd oddities. Yeah, all right. There is nothing like a nice cold start in a Mustang GT350. Except for when your battery's deader than a Texas salad bar. one that I was talking about before in the channel has saved my butt a few times now. I uh, can't speak enough good things about this thing. You can power all your USB cables and, and uh, trinkets and things like that, or save your even a V8 engine, which was flat dead. I'm talking RIP dead, uh, and it got it started up. So I'll put the link below if you guys are interested. Once again, if you use my links, you help out the channel. All right, guys. Nothing like cruising home after work in the serenity of sixth gear. The valves close and it's so peaceful. Except for when your car sounds like humping rattlesnakes. How do rattlesnakes hump? You ever think of that? I think of that sometimes. Am I the only one? And how about a bonus one? This also happened in my 2018 Mustang GT. Hands up. Actually, thumbs up if you guys get flashed all the time at nighttime because some dingleberry thinks that you have your high beams on. Hey, rest of world. All the Mustangs don't have our high beams on. We just have bright lights, I guess. Anybody else have that problem? Thumbs up if you do. It's gotten so bad that I actually keep my hand on the trigger here to flash them back. Not for revenge, but just to let them know that when you see Mustang headlights, stand down. Don't be overzealous with the f flashing. 
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. This is actually a, a, a set of real problems that I have with the car. I, guys, I want the car to work well, I really do. I wanna do things to this car. You're gonna see a nice performance boost video coming out really soon, my next video actually as I said, starring Earl. But aside from that, I don't wanna do anything major to the car. I don't even wanna install my X-Pipe that's been sitting in my garage forever for fear of losing my warranty when this thing takes a dump in its bed, so to speak. So yeah, let me know if any of you guys are having these random issues. I'd much rather be making fun videos with Earl, um, you know, than having these problem videos. So let's get a dialogue going below. What do you guys think? All right, guys, always remember the motto, always be kinder than necessary. See you in the next one. That is when my door actually opens and I'm not fumbling for my key fob like Brett Favre. Farve? <laughs> How do you pronounce that name? Favre. Favre. <laughs> oh, shiza. You want to scrub my lip like I just did? Like Brett Favre handling a hot potato. <laughs> That's hard to say. <laughs> And I'm not fumbling for my key fob like Brett Favre trying to crutch it. Son of a... <laughs> that is when my door actually opens. And I'm not fumbling for my key fob like Brett Favre trying to... Fav. Favre. 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 <laughs> Favre. 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 a GT350, not a GT150. There's nothing quite like rolling up next to a hottie in this car, except for when your brakes screech like they have all of the birds in 12 Days of Christmas hanging out up in there. Squawk, squawk, squawk! <laughs> oh man, what I do for you guys? Straight face, straight face. Except for when your car rattles like a rattlesnake in heat. Uh, excuse me.